hello guys welcome to start for tutorials today we will be dealing with a frame structure as shown in the figure subjected to two nodal loads and uniformly distributed load and the sizes are given as below it's four meter span and a five meter story we will be drawing it in stat pro and later seeing its result for bending moment shear force and deflection so initially start start pro new project plane frame meter and kilo newtons next add beam finish so just select front view to change the grid now as you can see this is a 4 meter span and 5 meter and 4 meter so you can draw it 4 meter span 5 meter span 4 meter span now you need to select escape you can switch off the grid so this is your frame structure now coming to the sizes we need to define rectangle as you can see the bigger one is yd and smaller one is zd so the bigger one is 0 0.38 and 0 0.23 since the dimensions are taken in meters and these are given in millimeters 0 0.38 0 0.23 right close select the dimensions and assign to the whole structure assign yes well coming to the supports the supports are the supports are fixed at the ends so support create support fixed add select the support and select the nodes where the support is to be fixed assign to selected node assign yes coming to loads load case details add load case 1 add close select load case 1 add you can see there is a nodal load of minus 40 kN and uniform load of minus 50 kN so nodal load minus 40 kN and uniformly distributed load minus 50 kN per meter add close select the nodal load and select the node cursor and select the nodes assign to select a node assign yes scale the loads now select the uniformly distributed load using beam cursor select the particular beam assign to the selected beam and scale the loads now we go for analyze and print add close analyze run analysis save so we can select go to post processing mode done press ok maximize this window and you have deflection switch on so now you can view the deflection by selecting control switch and rolling mouse wheel or else bending moment can be viewed shear force to be can also be viewed Axial force to be viewed. So, in order to obtain the value, go to results view value beam results maximum resultant annotate close. You get maximum values. Go to results view value. You can go to re reactions select it close you get reactions mx my mz mx my mz so this is the end of the tutorial for designing a frame structure subjected to loads thank you